Hey guys, it's Mora, and welcome to part 5 of my walkthrough of Where in Time is Carmen Sandiego. So in this video, I'm going to be playing Case 5, which takes place in the Middle Ages during the height of William the Conqueror. So let's go ahead and get started. We're whizzing down the years to feudal England in the 9th century. By now, William the Conqueror should be done conquering and on his way to kinghood. But William's worried. And something's amiss. See what you can find out. And this is our last good guide, Polly Tix. Name is obvious pun of politics. Good luck, Time Scout. And don't swim in any moments. Don't worry, I won't. Know why the Chrono Skimmer ruled? Because we always arrive right on time. We're in England. 1086, and I'm standing by William the Conqueror, the French ruler of Normandy in England. Hey, you two. Watch your head. There's a siege going. A siege? That explains all the soldiers outside. We'll help you withstand this siege, King William. Okay, before I talk to William, I want to look around at all these, click on all these things. That machine is a ballista, a giant crossbow that shoots major spears, even flaming spears. Yes, ballista spears are often covered in a flaming goo called lake fire. Quite awful stuff. Each form is a big secret. Those pesky Saxon archers use wooden shields to hide behind and only peep out when they're firing a volley of arrows. The cow arrows. That mangonel hurls huge boulders up and over the walls. It can even fling dead animals. Yeah. Cross <laughs> Ola! Yeah, Polly makes up some of her own words like Rosola and that such. That scientific device is a battering ram. It knocks down castle gates or walls so the foot soldiers can run in through the hole called a breach. My archers shoot arrows through the chronos, those gaps in the parapet wall. They try to break their Saxon targets without getting nicked in return. This toothy looking wall is a battlement. My soldiers hide behind the raised parts called Merlins when they're not shooting arrows. That port is full of boiling water, which we pour down on enemies trying to climb the walls. It leaves them boiling mad. <laughs> I created a feudal society where peasants work for lords, lords work for barons, and barons work for me. It's good to be the king. Oh, the Saxons are revolting. Again, someone stole my doomsday book, and the Saxons, taking it as a sign of weakness, have decided to try and overthrow my castle with a siege. The doomsday book is a record of all the people and property in England, from the lowliest serf to the highest noble. It really helps me keep tabs on everyone. Perhaps they need a man? But seriously, the Saxons are not happy having a foreign king like me. I burned much of the North Country to the ground once, but will they let bygones be bygones? No. You know, historical figures aren't always angels, but our acne job is to put history back on track. If William doesn't remain king, all of English history might change. This stone castle I recently built is strong enough to withstand any Saxon attack. 
But with this siege going on outside, I'm having trouble bringing in fresh supplies. Ah, a noble offer. I happen to have a secret passage out of this castle. Squeeze through and go find my barons and lords. Tell them my soldiers need some prey. This Saxon siege is exhausting our supplies. I need bread for my hungry men, or they'll soon starve. Oh, look at this, a piece of the karma note. It's a karma note! Our thief must have slipped through the secret passage. Au revoir, hurry back. Okay, this is Baron DuPont. I want to look around that first like before I... like a version of the medieval coat of arms, where colorful family emblems were painted on war shields. But Lacey, my hunting dog, just part of the pack I take on my afternoon hunts. I do the catching, she does the fetching. In 11th century England, castles had to be built fast, so they were usually made of wood instead of heavy stone. A wood castle could be finished in just three weeks. Wow, impressive. That is a molten bailey castle out there. My men dig a deep moat, piling the dirt up inside to make a tall hill. Then we build a wooden castle on the hill. Voila! Two defenses for the price of one. Okay, mm. now I... Talk to Baron. Hello. Welcome to my castle. Certainly. I am Baron Dupont, a peer without peer. I am also the ruler of this castle. Through talent and wisdom, of course. Oh, and it helped that I supported William the Conqueror when he invaded England. William gave most of the baronships to other French Normans like myself. Oh, it can be quite tiresome. These Saxons don't like having a foreign baron ruling them. To prevent them from rebelling, I must keep them very busy. I make sure they're always doing their specific jobs. Knowing their last names helps a lot. Okay, that's a little clue of what we're gonna do help next. You. But I am a nobleman. It is very uncommon for me to help commoners. For the king? Why didn't you say so? In that case, helping you would be my crowning glory. What can I do to help? I know little of petty activities like making bread. Here's a list of my subjects. Perhaps one of them can help you. With last names, he means whatever task you need to have done, ask one of the peasants whose last name relates to that. So if we need bread, we're going to need a baker. So let's click on the peasant, Robert Baker. Salutations, dear Baron. May I help you? King William needs bread for his troops. Can you help? Oh, love to bake you some bread. But I am flourless, and thus powerless. Do you have any flour? Hmm, no flour. Well, check with the lord down the road. As I am a baron, and he is only a lord, the feudal system requires that he help me out. Okay, so we're going to go down the road to the lord's we're estate. We're to the lord! This is Lord Maynard. First, I want to look around. Meet Windmill. What's it for? Oh, and my peasants use it to raise water, grind grains, the usual farming things. Each of those farmhouses belongs to a peasant. I give each peasant some of my land to farm, and he gives me back a share of what he grows. It's a feudal attempt at society. Um, I think there's not much else to look at here. That peasant is being punished for stealing a chicken. He must spend one full day locked in the stockade while people toss rotten vegetables at him. Bummer! Yeah. Must be humiliating, especially if they use broccoli. Yuck! Welcome to my estate, traveler. Of course, I've forgotten my manners. I am Lord Maynard. I report to Baron Dupont. Exactly. The Baron owns this estate and several others. But I live here and run it for him. He gives orders to me, and I pass the orders on to my peasants. It's the feudal way, you know. Oh, the usual things. I dispense justice, I listen to peasants complain about taxes, that sort of nonsense. A nobleman's work is never done. Well, not really. Most of this land 
was lent to me by Baron Dupont. In turn, I lend some of the land to peasants who work the soil. The French would call these peasants villains. Well, it works like this. I lend some land to the villains, and they, in exchange, give me part of the food they harvest from this land. Such are the ways of the feudal system. The Baron needs flour? Well, I'm happy to help, of course. In fact, it is my feudal duty. Well, I do not have any flour on me at the moment, but one of my peasants may be able to help. Just point one out. Okay, just like the peasants of the Baron, we need to pick a peasant whose last name relates to what we're looking for. So if we need flour, we're going to need a miller. So let's click John Miller. Lordy Lord, good day. What can I do for you? We need to make bread for the barrel. Can you get us some flour? Yes, I can make some flour for you. I am a miller after all. There it is. Freshly milled flour for the baron's bread. All yours. Okay, let's take it, put it in our inventory, go back up to the Baron's castle. Alrighty then, let's head back to Baron Dupont. Let's give the flour to the baker. Oh, this flour is perfect. I'll see what I can bake up. Hold on. <coughs> Voila, my best bread for the king's best men. <coughs> let's take the bread. Sneak past the siege and back into William's castle. Back to sneak back to the castle and give it to William. Mmm, fresh bread. My hungry swoops and I thank you. And now, my next task. We need more weapons. Could you stop by the Baron's place and see if he has any swords? Absolutely. Happy to help your kingship. <sighs> Absolutely. Another word Polly made up. Au revoir. Switching oh, from yeah. absolutely positively. Obviously, talk to the Baron again. Salutations once again. One of my subjects might give you the edge you need. With whom do you care to? Okay, speak? since since we need swords, we're going to need a smith. So we'll need George Smith. How do you do, Mister B? What do you need? King William is calling for more swords. Can you make them? Oh, I dearly love to forge some swords, but the water barrel I use to cool my red hot metals has sprung a leak. If you can find me a new barrel, I can forge your head. You need a barrel? I believe the Lord next door can roll one out for you. Okay, let's go back to the Lord. Greetings once again, travelers. Ah, no, you've got me over a barrel on that one. And of course, we'll need that's to ask another peasant. So, for a barrel, we're going to need Todd Cooper, a Cooper uh, barrel Hello, maker. Lord. May I be of service? We must get a barrel for the barrel. Can you be of assistance? A barrel? I'm happy to make you a barrel. Back in a flash. Ta-da! The finest barrel a baron could ask for. It won't leak a drop. Okay, put the barrel in the inventory. And now give it to the smith. Ah, now that's a fine water tank barrel. I'll fill it with water and make some swords in no time. No time, uh, yeah, like five seconds. There you go, the finest swords in England. A real cut above the ordinary. <laughs> ah, these swords will give me the edge over those Saxons. <laughs> but now my archers are all out of arrows. This is your final task. Check with my Baron and see if he has any arrows to spare. Sheesh! King William's got us pulling a lot of strings. Au revoir. Hurry back. Salutations once again. One of my servants can surely help. Which one should I call? Okay, so for arrows, we're going to need the Fletcher. Good day to you all. What is the Baron's bidding? William's men need a new batch of arrows. Can you help? Sorry, I'd make you the strangest arrows in England, but I'm a little light on feathers right now. Do you happen to have any? No feathers for the arrows? You might be able to pluck some from the Lord down the road. 
by feudal law, he is obligated to help me. Greetings once again, travelers. I'm a lord, not a lark, but one of my subjects might be able to help. Who should I call? Okay, so since we need feathers uh, for the arrows, we're gonna call in the hunter. Hello, lord. How can I help? My friend of the Baron requires some fine feathers. Do you have any? Feathers? Certainly. I'll use my hunting falcon to bring down some birds for you. We'll be back a moment. <coughs> I'm back and about quite a few birds. I hope the feathers help. Hey, there's something stuck in these feathers. Let's crack it. Yes, there's something stuck. It's a piece of the Carmen yeah, note. You've got a shred of the Carmen note. Well, look at all these feathers. Just what a Fletcher needs. They'll make my arrows fly straight and true. Here you are. These are some of my finest arrows. Now let's go back to the castle. Um, you could try giving the arrows to the archer here. Near the but Polly will say, we just let's just give them to the king. Once I pass out these fine arrows, my men will easily repulse the Saxon siege. Victory is certain! <laughs> How about joining me in a celebration feast? Well, I'm not sure, Your Kingness. Come on, you can do a cheat with my dancing bear. A dancing bear? Fantabulous! Count us in! William was right. The arrows we brought did the trick, and the siege is over. It's time to celebrate at this wild Norman dinner party. Yes, eat, eat. We Normans specialize in fine feasts. Okay, look, there's the last piece of the current note, but before I pick it up, I want to just look around here for first. Oh, that siege has wearied my bones. I'm much too tired to talk. No wonder. When he's not battling, William I must juggle being king of England and ruler of Normandy and France. Yeah, and when he was named time. king, that was William's title, William I. That loyal fellow is my royal taster. He dries a bit of all my food before I eat to make sure nothing is poisoned. Tasters are easy to find, but hard to keep. Mm, I guess hard to keep because then they always want a piece of your Only food. My most honored or powerful guests are permitted I think to tasters with love to eat. I like to give them a heady dining experience. Dogs often roam the banquet hall, sniffing out table scraps. Their thick fur can make for a handy napkin, you know. We Normans use live bears for entertainment. I love it when they stand on their hind legs to dance. Oh, that poor bear looks all jigged out. This is the Bayeux Tapestry, created a few years back in 1077. Tapestries like this often told stories using pictures. In a way, it so it's a way of writing on the wall. On the wall. Okay, so there's the taster takes a bite of something. In feudal England, the fork wasn't invented yet. So folks ate their meat with their hands or from the tips of their sharp knives. Mm, hope they weren't too sharp. Sometimes instead of bowls, the Normans ate soup using tough bread called French bread that could soak up the grease. I don't suppose they used napkins either. Mm, probably not. No vegetarians here. Upper class Normans thought vegetables were fit only for peasants, so they didn't eat many. That <laughs> never worked with my mother. Yeah, I'm a meat eater myself. Not very fond of vegetables. Okay, I think I looked at everything, so now I'm going to pick up the C note. Superific! The final note. There's another word she creates. Superific. Work super and terrific. Oh, and not like the other good guides when she's finished. Finished, uh. Look, we finished looking at the Carmen note. She. Uh, claps her hands instead of gives a thumbs up like all the other good guides. All right, so the thief is hiding here at the tapestry, which illustrates the story of how William conquered England. Good thinking. The Bayou Tapestry is a story banner telling how King William conquered England. Uh, our thief is General Mayhem. We've slapped the cuffs on that wily warmonger. 
uh, not very general creative, mayhem. but still pun of general mayhem. As in just mayhem in general. No more warmongering for you, General Mayhem. You're heading back to Acme. I'll just have to put a whole new campaign wall stationed in the slammer. Congratulations! You clap the cups on General Mayhem and put that big old Domesday book back on the shelf. Old King William is a happy conqueror. And thanks to you, England's noble traditions will survive the centuries. I've decided to promote Oh, another promotion. Consider yourself oh, a time Now to the next one, Time Trooper. Congratulations. If you like, we could troop on ahead where another case is waiting. What do you say? Uh, I'm going to have to decline. I'll save that for the next video. So about to end this video, guys. Hope you guys hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Fine. Great job so far, by the way. Take some time off. Then we'll pick up the trail later. <laughs>